Okay, uh, welcome everyone, especially uh, to uh, Matthew and uh, Nigel and uh, James and Riley, who have uh, been tied up with Variety. Uh, thanks for all being here. Uh, the purpose today is to unveil the, uh, the new Showdown Shield, the Variety Showdown Shield, um, which will be played for on Saturday for the first time. Um, Variety are thrilled to have this uh, partnership with uh, the Port Adelaide Football Club and the Adelaide Football Club. Uh, what it does for us, it ticks many boxes. Uh, the money that we'll be channelling through the two clubs into their programs really does fit with what the, uh, you know, the whole purpose of Variety is about. So it's a great partnership uh, with the two clubs. I don't think the public really understand how much good work the two clubs actually do. So it's terrific to be in a partnership with them and hopefully out of this the community will understand the good work that they do, but also have a better understanding of uh, what variety is all about. So I'll uh, unveil the shield. And you'll see on there the, uh, to do with the uh, community and coming together, the two Bond boys, one playing for the Crows and one for Port Adelaide at the time, embracing each other after the game, and the variety values across the bottom. Matthew, would you like to say a few words? Yeah, uh, thanks very much, Rob. Look, on behalf of the Port Adelaide Footy Club, we're delighted um, to uh, and, um, work with Variety in this partnership for three years. They're going to be working with our Empowering Youth Program, which will allow us to continue the great work, we're doing, great work that um, our club is doing in the community. Uh, working specifically with uh, kids that have become, uh, I guess, disengaged in the education system. And it's great to have Riley uh, alongside us today, who's going to, I think, be presenting the Variety Showdown Shield on, uh, on the weekend. So uh, to Rob and uh, your team at Variety, um, we're thrilled, to, uh, thrilled with the partnership and um, you know, really look forward to continuing the work that we're, we're doing in the community, thanks to the support of Variety. Yeah, and to back that up from the LA Football Club, um, the showdown is owned by the community um, and we think this is a great platform of engagement, uh, broad community engagement in terms of using the showdown to uh, spread a message of um, uh, commitment to looking after children in need. Um, both Port Adelaide and the LA Football Club have a range of community programs to support children across the state that are uh, less fortunate, whether that's through economic circumstances, um, their, um, their background, um, their race, and uh, we think the showdown is a magnificent vehicle to, to in what is rivalry, but to bring us together, and I think the, uh, the imagery is fitting for, for, that, for, that, uh, for that case. And, and through this, we'll see about 2,000 extra South Australian kids sort of benefit through this partnership, which is, which is a great outcome and really adds to the work that the three organisations currently do. Any questions? Just tell us about it. Um, Nigel, you know, you, you speak about it a lot, but how significant is it? I mean, it's obviously close to your heart, you work in charity previously, how significant? Well, I think both clubs, uh, we do do an enormous amount of work in the community and, and Variety does um, a, a monumental um, amount of work in the community in terms of uh, the programs that uh, they run and also um, um, the fundraising they're, they're achieving. So all that streams back to children in need and um, certainly uh, um, many families and their, their children are doing it tough. And I think to use the, the showdown as a vehicle in, of engagement, a vehicle of bringing those programs together, but also to highlight the, the need for the community to go out and, and fundraise and, um, and if they can spare a, a couple of dollars for, for a cause, um, that's a great way to do it. I think a three year partnership allows both clubs to really embed um, and uh, one, get to know Variety really closely and intimately, um, but also to, uh, to really fine tune the, what the showdown, the showdown Shield is all about and to really develop that narrative. We had um, obviously uh, two bonds in the photo, which is iconic. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. Do you think we'll ever get to a stage um, where we maybe have the showdown medal incorporated with variety, um, named after two players? Uh, and I might get Matty's thoughts as well, you know, so I don't know, the Bickley Wang and medal or something like that. Well, I wouldn't um, say it's um, out of the question. I think tradition, uh, it's, we're both, uh, we're a young club and um, 
Um, Port Adelaide's been going for a long time, but uh, its entry into the AFL is relatively short as well. So the, the development of, of tradition and um, um, creation of, uh, of these narratives takes a bit of time. So I think um, the, the variety showdown shield is, is one step. Uh, the imagery and the, the engagement or the platform is, is another. And I think uh, those elements will come together nicely in the future years. Is that something you think maybe? Yeah. Two clubs obviously like, have Yeah, worked, absolutely. Yeah. And I think to add to what Nigel's saying, I think the great thing about this is actually it almost, as Nigel said before, the showdown is actually owned by the community and the people. And that's one of the great things about the shield is um, and the work that Variety are doing. That's where the that's where the focus is. It's not on a couple of players or anything like that. It's actually about the community and the great work that Variety do, uh, the Adelaide Football Club, and also the Port Adelaide Football Club, and our players and our and our staff do in the in the community. So I think that's one of the great things about about the shield. Rob, you're probably more neutral than the two blokes sitting here to start. Uh, who wins? On, on uh, good question. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I've got a bit of an allegiance to the Crows, yeah. but uh, <laughs> uh, but also been good friends with Port Adelaide through some other roles that I've had. But uh, I think it'd be a great game. I think that the showdown form doesn't seem to be worth a hell of a lot in the showdown. Um, and, you know, some will be which Port Adelaide turns up because, you know, sort of Port have been brilliant at times this year and other times have, uh, you know, not quite got there. So, uh, but a, a great game, no doubt. Nigel, Yeah, well, the showdowns are... You, you turn up from, to them and form doesn't really matter and um, it's really which team performs on the day and I think uh, both Port Adelaide and the Adelaide Football Club have had terrific games this year and we've also had games that um, yeah we haven't actually probably played four quarters and I think the team that probably turns up and plays a four quarter effort will take the points on the day. Do you think uh, back in your day, like showdowns, is it similar to now? Is there still the same amount of spice? I think so. Like uh, as a player, um, there was a, a lot riding on the showdown. Uh, the fan, both fan bases are extremely passionate. Um, they ride the wave of uh, performance throughout the whole year. You have two showdowns. You have a port home game and a, and a late home game. Um, the supporters look forward to those particular um, uh, days, and uh, they wish really want their team to win. So the players feel that. They it kind of permeates through. Um, society and uh, in conversations during the week and in the lead up to the week. So, um, as a player, do you feel the pressure? Yes, yeah, some do. I know I did when I played. Um, certainly, the showdowns we had periods where we didn't win too many, and all of a sudden, Adelaide now are having a little bit of a purple patch in terms of that kind of win loss ratio. But if you look over the entire, how many are there? 42? 44? 44. Um, 44, it's, it's pretty even. So, um, yeah, I think that's a testament to the how balanced the game is um, on, its, uh, every day, on its day. What does it sort of take to win one? Is it to get off to a good start or is it um, just to make sure you come home at flying the end? Yeah, I think uh, the starts are, are really important. I think Adelaide's uh, had some slow starts in, in the past. Um, it's really hard to uh, make that ground up against some of the, the teams that you're playing against. Um, but I, I really think um, you need a, a couple of really standout performances in the team. Doesn't matter what position they are, but you need some dominant players on the on on the day and their their, their four quarter efforts. So I think you'll find that uh, that team that kind of turns up and delivers that will probably win the game. Everyone fully fit to go. I believe so. Like it's good to hear that um, Taylor and Rory are around the mark um, and. Uh, probably available to, to play. Um, that being said, uh, yeah, strange things happened in the last few days into the lead up to a showdown. So hopefully we've got a, uh, I've got no doubt we'll have a, a fully fit team there that goes on the path. Well, Matthew, beyond backing a charity, do you think there's a commercial partner still for a showdown or has time told you just recently that might not be possible anymore? Look, um, it might be possible. I think the I think the great thing about this partnership again is it comes back to community, and that the um, uh, and that there's something great about that. It's you know it's all about South Australia. It's the moment where South Australia, the South Australian footy community, does come together. There's enormous rivalry uh, leading into the game. Um, obviously, uh, during the game, it's um, it's massive, but. I think the sense of community and the work that both clubs do uh, in the community is 
it's really highlighted through this partnership with Variety, and we're you know, certainly um, same as Adelaide, delighted mm. to delighted to be working with Variety for the next three years as um, as partners in this game. I think Michelangelo, um, both clubs are very good at um, uh, finding and driving a commercial outcome. It's quite unique in this case to drive a community partnership between three um, entities like Variety, the Port Adelaide Football Club and ourselves, the Crows Children's Found Foundation, um, Port Adelaide Limited, um, to get that kind of context of uh, uniqueness. So this is a quite an innovative partnership. Um, so I think there needs to be a bit of a lens looked at commercial partnerships. We do a lot of them. This is quite a unique one.